This is hands down, the best text-to-speech software I've found. Let me show you how to use it in this quick tutorial. So you heard the man, I'm going to show you the best text-to-speech software you can use for your YouTube videos and I'm going to show you how you can use it for free. This is going to be a very laid back tutorial, I want to show you around the website, I want to show you how you can use it, but just sit back, relax, if this video does help you out, please leave a like, subscribe, and also comment down below so we can push this video to more people. But yeah, let me just jump into the video. So the website that we're currently using and that I'm going to show you how you can use is a website called naturalreaders.com. It's a website which allows you to type in text and play that text and also download the files, which I'll show you how you can do in a second. And I'll show you how you can do it for free. It gives you access to all of these different voices here. So you can use all of these different voices for your YouTube videos, including US accents, UK accents, Spanish, and so on. You can also change the speed of the voices. So you can slow it right down or you can speed it up depending on what you want for your YouTube video. You can also add documents. So you can add a PDF, a text document, or a Word document, and then all of these others. And then it'll read out what you've wrote down in that document. I'll show you how you can download the finished file in a second, uh, but let me just show you how you can use this really. In my opinion, this website reads the most natural. There are other ones out there with a better like interface, but this one reads the most natural if you understand how you can use it. And you have to use commas really to make it sound as natural as you can get it. So I'm gonna just write a sentence here, then we'll click play, and I'll show you how you can get it like super natural. So I've wrote down here an example sentence. Now I'm going to play this and don't get me wrong, it doesn't sound bad now, but I'm, show, I'm gonna show you how you can essentially make it sound better by introducing commas. So let's listen to it first and then I'll show you how you can make it better. This is gonna be important if you're gonna use this for your YouTube videos and you want this website to sound like as natural as you can get it. So we'll click play and we'll just listen to it. Hey there, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for straight to the point tutorials. It sounds good now, it sounds decent. I like the Graham voice from the UK. But it kind of goes a bit fast here to my YouTube channel. I would really want a comma here. So if we put a comma in there, we'll see what it sounds like now. Hey there. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for straight to the point tutorials. It sounds a lot better if you introduce commas. Now, you're not always going to have to put a comma where it's grammatically correct to put a comma, if you get what I'm saying, really. Um, sometimes you have to put a comma in places that you shouldn't have to normally when you're writing. But yeah, that's a, basically a tutorial on how you can make it sound natural. Here's how you can download it. Because you may have noticed that they have different plans here. Now, we're going to ignore all of these plans. What we're going to do is we're just going to record the audio. So we can just take the audio straight from the website without even signing up for a plan. So here's what you need to do for that. So to do that, what you need to do is you need to come down to your desktop bar here right click on speakers and open sound settings once you've done that and this is on windows 10 anyway you want to scroll down and you want to go to sound control panel once you've done that go to recording scroll down and just right click and we want to show disabled devices and show div disconnected devices once you've done that click on stereo mix and you'll see it you should see it anyway click enable then click ok now what you need to do, if, if you're familiar with making YouTube videos, you need to open up a program called Audacity. And what we're going to do is we're just going to record our desktop audio with Audacity. So we don't even have to download the audio, we can simply record it. So if Stereo Mix isn't showing up here, we're just going to close Audacity. And then I'm going to reopen it again. And again, if you're doing YouTube, if you're using this for YouTube, you'll, you'll be familiar with all of this. Then we can click on microphone and we're looking for a stereo mix here. So we can click on that. Then we can start recording and you'll notice that when I'm speaking, it's not actually recording my voice. That's because it's only recording the desktop audio. Then we can just click play and we'll notice it starts to record it. Hey there, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for straight to the point tutorials. And you can record for as long as you like. You can have this read out all of the script. And then once you've got it recorded, we can just play it. Hey there. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for straight to the point tutorials. So that's really the whole tutorial in a nutshell. You just have to use this website, um, which is one of the better websites to convert text to speech. 
and then you can just record the audio without having to download it and without having to use any of these plans. So I hope that video helped you out, I hope it was straight to the point, I hope you got some value from it. If you did, please do leave a like, subscribe and again, just comment down below, let me know what you're going to use this for and if this video did help you. Cheers guys and I'll see you all in the next one.